What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, I'm here to tell you about a tool called Expose Framework. Expose allows you to apply a variety of themes, hacks, mods, and customizations to your Android device, its app, and the skin it's running. Unlike traditional ROM flashing, with Expose, you can activate and deactivate mods with a touch of a button. Using Expos, I was able to get my phone an AOSP Recent Styles app menu, along making the notification bar transparent and rearranging the EQS tiles. Now, in order to do this, you will need to have a rooted Android device running Android 4.0 or higher. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so in order to set up Framework, there are a few steps you're going to need to do. First, you'll need to download the Expos Framework Installer app. I'll provide a link in the description to the XA thread in which you can download it from. And of course, use your favorite file browser to install the APK. After you download it, go and open it up. So let's go to Expose Installer. Once you open it up, go to Framework and hit the button that says Install Update. This will install the framework of actual files. Once you do this, you're pretty much all ready to set up and begin modding. Okay, so to download some modules, go to the Download section. From right here, you have a whole gallery of different modules that you can download. Some may or may not be compatible with your device, so definitely read the description to see if it's going to be compatible. Um, and some of these mods work with just about any Android device. And like I said, all these range from complex themes to basic hacks. You have Music 2SD, for example, that transfer all your music to your storage card. So if you have a Galaxy S3 or 4, that'd be helpful. Increasing ringtone, uh, ring notification volume. All right, so the mod I already downloaded was the Sense 5 Toolbox. So when you find a mod that you want to download, select it. I'll just go to one that's not installed. Select it and go to download. Once you download, it should go and show right here. Now to activate it, go back and go to the modules section and select it to activate it. What's nice about Expos is that if you get tired of a mod or you don't want to use it anymore, you can simply deactivate it. Unlike the traditional flashing where you have to go back and reflash the ROM, you don't have to do that with Expos, which is great. So once you select the mod to activate it, you will have to reboot your device and then the mod will become active. So the mod I'm using is Sense5 Toolbox. What this does, it gives me a lot of options, really. So if I go up here to my settings, I have this right here, this uh, submenu for a Sense 5 Toolbox. Inside, I have camera mods, system UI mods, sense mods, etc. I have all these different mods I can apply. So far, what I've done was I went to system UI mods and I enabled AOSP recent app style, which I absolutely love. So what that is, is I can double tap on my home button. And as you see, I have the AOSP style recent apps, which is pretty badass. In addition, what you can do is go to Sense Mods here, and I can have an infinite number of apps per folder, which is great, and I can also remove Blink Feed. So if you don't like Blink Feed, but you still want to use the, the stock HTC Sense launcher, then this is great for you because you can simply remove Blink Feed and not even worry about it. So in addition, you have gestures and tons of different other support you can add to it. And within various mods, I also hit an MTP notification, which is a little annoying thing with Android 4.3 on HTC Sense. But like I said, this is really cool. It offers tons of different themes and things you can do with it. Um, and it's just a great thing. And like I said, this is not just for the HTC One. This is for multiple Android devices. I mean, I know there are a lot of mods for the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy S4 in here. Um, I even saw uh, one or two for the Sony Xperia Play. Um, and there's a lot of them that work on any Android device. All right, guys, so this has been theming and modding made easy using Expos Installer. Like I said, I highly suggest that you download it, install it, and play around with it. This is a great way to really customize your device without going to the hassle of flashing every time you want to do something and then reverting back and all the other, you know, annoying stuff. And if you're a developer, I encourage you to develop for this because this is something that's going to keep on growing and becoming better. And as more people start using it, it's definitely going to reach its popularity. So guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another guidance video. Thanks.